All right, race fans. Welcome to Turn Left TV. Be ready for some high speed action tonight. Step on the gas. All right, race fans. Welcome to Mid Ohio. This is Turn Left TV, and I'm your host, Heath Johnson. The High Octane Racing League GT3 Series back in action. Having a week off last week, and now we're going to the Midwest. It's Mid Ohio. What a great track, man. This thing is flat out fast, baby. Not hugely technical, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, you're going to see some great, great racing, close racing here in the GT3 Series. It's race number two, and it's going to be off the hook, man. Mid Ohio, right here on Turn Left TV. Well, the GT3 Series is in action after a week off, and this is a great track to get back at it. It's Mid-Ohio, it's Turn Left TV, and it is live. All right, hey, thank you so much for coming in here to Turn Left TV. Got a good one for you here tonight. Right now, these guys are in the qualification session. Six and a half minutes left in quals. Now the top time is Nikolai Bezhukov. We'll take a look at the track here at Mid Ohio, located in the Lexington, Ohio, about, uh, I don't know, Mid Ohio. <laughs> 2.2 uh, miles in length, just a little over 2.2 miles in length, 13 turns. And uh, the keyhole, man, is that going to be a very, very tough section. No chicane version of this track. And then uh, you do have that carousel there uh, for the last, the final little straight. So a fun track, good high speed section there off turn two through uh, turn four. Uh, so some great passing opportunities on this track as well. Again, thanks for coming in and joining me here on Turn Love TV. I always appreciate people coming out and uh, watching the races, whether watching the races live or on uh, uh, on a uh, recorded uh, post. Uh, but hey, thanks for coming in, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Please hit the thumbs up button. Always look at that, man. Uh, guys are really, really kind at uh, giving us a thumbs up. And then uh, if you'd like to uh, help me out here at Turn Left TV, you can always click on the link down in the description of this race and follow that over to the Fanatec website, whether you're in the United States, Europe, all around the world. You can use one of those links if you're interested in uh, purchasing something through them. Please uh, help me out here at Turn Left TV and use those links. And thanks to all those folks who have done so. I have a lot of people who uh, go there and uh, click on my affiliate links and uh, uh, purchase some stuff. Uh, so we've got some great entry-level wheels now. Uh, I've got the BMW GT2 wheel rim. Uh, the DD1 wheelbase and the V3 inverted pedals, man. Absolutely love all this stuff. Makes my racing a life a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation to Turn Left TV, you can do so by clicking on the link up in the banner of the channel right straight up there and uh, make a donation straight through PayPal. And again, thanks for all those folks who uh, do donate here to Turn Left TV. Appreciate that. Uh, got a ton of races there down at the bottom, wherever they are, right down there at the bottom there that you can uh, scroll through and watch on replay uh, also some great playlists there too so you can go back and watch uh, previous uh, series races uh, if you'd like thanks to all those folks who recently subscribed and all those folks who stay with us here at turn left tv appreciate your patronage
Well, the Bushwhacker Series coming up next week. We had a great race last night. My heavens, man. Uh, fantastic race from Vegas. Uh, but next week, we got Talladega Super Speedway, and that is going to be a huge race, man. Race number six of the season, 98 laps there at uh, Talladega. And it should be, actually, I think it's going to be 70 laps there. i got to change that banner. 70 laps at Talladega. Uh, but nonetheless, it's going to be a fun one, man. Talladega is always going to draw a big crowd. So the Bushwhacker Series coming up on Friday, October the 1st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday Night Thunder coming up a little bit later here tonight. Race number three of the season at Vegas, 120 laps in the cup cars. And uh, this one is going to be fast and furious, man. Last night's Xfinity race in the, uh, uh, at Vegas was a lot of fun, man. Pretty big field there. And uh, we had 15 drivers, I think, at that uh, mile-and-a-half oval. And tonight, Saturday Night Thunder, Las Vegas Motor Speedway at High Octane Racing League. Well, the schedule here in the uh, GT3 series, of course, mid-Ohio, we had a little substitution there. Uh, Macau was just not working out very well for some of these cars, being able to get around that really, really narrow, tight track. So uh, we made a decision to uh, switch that up and uh, put in mid-Ohio in its place. Uh, very different track, obviously, than, than what you're going to find with uh, 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 Macau. But uh, this is a good track. A lot of guys are very familiar with this track. Road America coming up next week, so a great American stint right there. And then Adelaide, man, we're going to, uh, to the land of Oz. Uh, the Adelaide Street Circuit, great street circuit there on October the 9th. Portland, back here in the United States. That's on my birthday, man, October 23rd. And then uh, Dubai GP night race on October the 30th, Silverstone on November the 6th, and Singapore Marina Bay to finish out the season on November the 13th. Tonight's race brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you're interested in an R Factor 2 server for your needs in your local area, EliteHostingUSA.com can provide your server in your area, no matter where you are in the world. Also, WebPress Hosting. We have our website here at HighOctaneRacing.net through uh, Elite Hosting. So uh, do a, they do a great job of customer service, advice on uh, helping create the web page and so forth, uh, and uh, a lot of uh, coding advice if I needed any of that always there available for me. So you can also get a link to our Discord channel on that website. So that's EliteHostingUSA.com. Perfect for our Factor 2 3 self-managed server packages for you to choose from. So it looks like our qualification session has finished. Guys finishing up their uh, lap there. It's a Romo in the uh, Porsche. So we'll take a look at the qualification results here. Now we've got a small crowd here, but I suggest you we got some more guys coming and joining us in the uh, warm-up session, 10-minute warm-up there. Art of Vieta there, top time, 119.216, lightning facts there. Bezukov uh, qualifies in the second position. Stephen Miller, third. Spencer Romo qualifies in the fourth position. Alexander Zakharov in the Bentley qualifies in fifth. Will Dunbar, sixth. Uh, Walter Duarte is 7th. Felipe Granado qualifies in the 8th position.
So we're switching over to the warm-up session. about six and a half minutes left to go in the warm-up session.
Michael's saying he can't hear me. It's because I wasn't talking, Michael. <laughs> Michael is uh, in a chat session begging to hear me. I wasn't talking, bro. I was just flying around cars looking for Turn Left TV logos. Playing around with the uh, the flight cam. Got about three minutes left to go in the uh, in the warm-up session. Let's take a look at who has success ballast. Now, one of the drivers is not here tonight. So the weight penalty tonight, Anti Rossi, where you at, bro? Where are you at? He's probably out DJing somewhere, making it happen, picking up girls. Uh, Alexander Zakharov, 14 kilograms of weight ballast tonight. And uh, Nikolai Bezhukov, 7 kilograms of weight ballast tonight. And uh, this does compound, so if these guys... You know, finishing the top three. Any one of those guys finishing the top three, they'll have added weight ballast for the second race on top of what they already have. Oh, my God. It's horrible. So there's a heavy load warning for tonight. So uh, Anti Rossi not here as of yet. Alexander Zakharov and Nikolai Bezrikov. The three that have success ballast. I'll tell you what, the guy to look for here tonight, I think, is Arthur Vieira. And this guy drives the stock cars, drives Indy cars, drives GT3 cars, drives just about anything, and uh, makes it competitive. So uh, he's my pick to win this race tonight. So Michael Brooks said Anti was at a petting farm today. Hopefully he didn't get lice. <laughs> Leave the sheep alone, Anti. Uh, Turn Left TV picks Ark Vieta here tonight to win the race. Looks like uh, we lost one of our uh, drivers there. I think uh, one of the guys just came in here to uh, play around a little bit. A little bit of a low, uh, low turnout for the field, so uh, a little bit of a shame there. But we'll make it work. A lot of guys have uh, some endurance racing that's going on about right now. So uh, that does interfere a little bit with our time slot. So just a little under a minute left here in the warm-up session. We can look at Will Dunbar in the Radical. Season standings coming into tonight's race. Santi Rossi with that win last week, or two weeks ago. It's on top there. Alexander Zekarov second. Nikolai Bezrikov third. Dmitry Buksha fourth in points. Dennis Vandevin fifth. Pedro Gomez sixth. Alexander Vasiliev seventh. Lucas Simfer eighth. Zach Casey ninth. And Will Dunbar tenth in points coming into tonight's race after that race number one. Again, this is uh, Turn Left TV. I'm your host, Heath Johnson, and this is Mid-Ohio, man. 3.6 kilometer, 2.2 a mile track here in 50 minutes. Race number two of the season. Richard Brooks coming in here and joining us as well. Good to see Richard in the chat session. That's going to do us for the warm-up session. So we're getting ready to go here, boys and girls. So a 50-minute race from Mid-Ohio. This will be a, a fun, fun race. Take a look at the starting order here tonight. Arthur Vieta starts in P1 in the BMW. Nikolai Bezhukov starts in the second position. Stephen Miller in the McLaren starts in third. Spencer Romo in the Porsche starts in the fourth position. Alexander Zakharov starts in fifth in the Bentley. Will Dunbar in the 88. The Radical starts in sixth. Felipe Granado in the 72 car 
starts in the seventh position. Nikolai Garasimov starts in eighth. This pace car absolutely hauls the mail coming around this track, man. Hard to keep up. It's almost at race speed. Uh, you got to slow down for some of the corners because the pace car is going uh, so fast. You still have to slow down for the corners. Even though you got to keep up with the pace car. So. You take a look at uh, the starting order there. Vieira, Bezrikov, Miller, Romo, Zakharov, Dunbar, Granado, and Garasimov. So a little, some minor elevation changes, not too bad. Kind of a short little bunny hop hills. Uh, a couple blind corners here. So those elevation changes and the turns can be a little tricky. All right, 50-minute race here at Mid-Ohio. Here we go. Art Vieira, the leader, heading into turn one. He's got that uh, not the preferred line, really, uh, and was the pole sitter into turn one. On the outside, does a great job. Now going to have the preferred line here coming into turn two. Pretty good clean start here from these guys so far. Side by side right there for the third position. Spencer Romo, Alexander Zakharov here battling it out for P3. Zakharov just ahead in the Bentley on board here with Spencer Romo in P4. Oh, overruns just a little bit. Man, he missed his breaking point and he's in the kitty litter now. Spencer Romo in the kitty litter. On lap one and loses some positions. He is now back to eighth. My heavens. Look at this. Uh, Will Dunbar. A little bit of contact there with Nikolai Grasimov into the back of uh, Will Dunbar. Will Dunbar, preferred line here coming into this turn, but Grasimov has the speed and uh, gets around on the outside. So the McLaren's looking pretty strong here. And uh, Will Dunbar in this radical is uh, in a hornet's nest. Take a look at uh, Will Dunbar. That radical machine, number 88. And he's got uh, Stephen Miller all over the back of him right now in the McLaren. So Garasimov uh, roughed him up just a little bit. Take a look at this uh, replay here as Garasimov a little bit into the back of that uh, 88 car just to let him know he was there. And uh, push him up out of his line a little bit and uh, uses some muscle here on the outside and gets around Will Dunbar. You see Will Dunbar tucking in right there, you know, roughing up the uh, roughing up the suspect. Back up here with our race leader, Art Vieira, but he has company, man. Nikolai Bezhukov. He asked me, man, what kind of car? He put it out there. What kind of uh, what make should I? Uh, race this season i said go for the merc and uh, he has responded man he's looking pretty strong here running in p2 and he's got uh alexander zakharov who is caught up to those guys he's in the third position we're taking a look at bezrikov running in the second position art Vieira in the bmw in first on board here with uh nikolai bezrikov all over the back of that bmw right now coming down the front stretch one, two, three. Couldn't put a piece of paper between the three of those guys. Vieira, Bezrikov, and Zakharov. A 
Stephen Miller here. And also Felipe Granado going to make a pass here. Oh, Stephen Miller there almost loses the back end of that car. He gets around. Will Dunbar, that leaves the door open for Felipe Granado in the Aston Martin. He's out at the side by side with Will Dunbar as well. And uh, he's going to make that pass. Will Dunbar losing two positions. Now back to the seventh spot as uh, Miller and Granado get by. This, guy, this is a tight battle here, man. Zakharov in third in the uh, the Bentley, and he is all over the back of uh, Nikolai Bezhukov. A little bit of space right there. Bezhukov uh, using the throttle to come out of that turn. Felipe Granado a little bit loose right there, and then Aston Martin. That car got a little loose, and he's off the track. Oh, he scrapes the wall. And, uh, oh, I tell you what, Will Dunbar gets by. Johnny on the spot there. Will Dunbar gains that spot back. And, uh, man, I tell you what, uh, he had to be, uh, he got a little bit squirrely here too, but a great job of avoiding uh, Felipe Granado as he comes back out on the track, but it makes that pass. Granado now back to the seventh position. Zakharov here in the Bentley, continuing to work on that Mercury. Uh, that Mercedes, I said a Mercury. I started to say Merc, but I didn't want to rhyme it. <laughs> Continue to work on the Merc. There you go. I did it. I, I went there. Zakharov still continuing to hound that Mercedes of Bezrikov. Granado's still having some trouble here, I think, in the Aston Martin. Tough handling right there. He goes a little bit wide, gets in the grass, does an okay job of getting that thing back on the track and uh, without losing too much time. But right now shown in the uh, seventh position. Spencer Romo here in the Porsche. Right now running in the eighth spot. Probably a little bit of damage for him that he's dealing with. He's running in P8. He was uh, talking about a little bit about the problem with uh, that he felt with the, uh, the setup. In the uh, Porsche, just didn't feel, didn't feel like his setup here was that good. Confidence is half the key too, I think. Uh, really, half the ball game. Not only having a good setup, but having confidence in the car and, and the track itself, and your ability to get this car around the track. Still a tight battle here, but uh, keep in mind that Karasimov on his way here in the uh, in the McLaren, he is in the fourth position. He is closing in on these guys. Kind of see that gap there between he and uh, Zakharov. 1.9 seconds. And they're still continuing to chip away. Now 1.7 at P3. The McLaren seem to be pretty fast. Up on the curb there a little bit, scrubbing off some speed. But Art Duvera here looking very strong, and he is busy. As Bezrikov and Zakharov right there on his heels. Take a look at Stephen Miller here in the McLaren. He is running in the fifth position. Going to be a good maybe top five finish for Stephen Miller. And that speed details number 42 car. Michael Brooks talking about how uh, he's heard that the Mercury, uh, uh, excuse me, Mercedes is um, broken. I got in and got some laps around and uh, really enjoyed the car, to be honest with you. I thought it uh, felt better than when it first came out. I don't know if they made changes with it or not, or maybe it was just the track that I was on, but I, I didn't feel like it was a, too bad of a car, so... Right now, Nikolai Bezhikov is uh, slinging this baby around the track, and he is all over the back of Artuvieta here. We're on board with P2. Nikolai Bezhikov, and he is hounding Artuvieta. And he has got to check his mirror, too, though, but he has got uh, Zakharov all over the back of him here. Look at that, working that wheel there, coming off the turn. Man, he is really counter-steering a ton right there.
He is a busy, busy man. Garasimov in the uh, Merced, or excuse me, the uh, McLaren. Oh, a little bit too much speed. Let's the back end of that car. Oh, he does a great job of uh, coming back around and uh, keeping that thing going, but he has spun. My heavens, man. Let's take a look at that replay. Can you take a look here as uh comes around the turn and just a little put too much uh, oomph on it. And loses the back end right there. And, uh, does a great job of uh, staying in the gas and keeping going here. So he's had some trouble. A little bit of an earlier incident there. He spun earlier here. This is another turn. I guess that's the same one. I guess he spun twice right there. So he gets two for one. So back up here live as uh, Art Vieira continuing to lead, pace the field here. He has led from uh, pretty much the start. I was talking about how he did not really have the preferred line on the start, but he's done the, uh, made the best of it. Got the, uh, got the position and has held on to this so far here. Ten minutes into the race, he's still leading the field, showing the BMW has some strength here. Like I said, I've seen Arctivia. I've been watching Arctivia, and I've raced with him for years. Uh, I'd say we're we're looking on somewhere on the order of about three, four years. We've been racing together. I've been broadcasting races that he's in. Actually, one of my first GT3 series races, or uh, the first league that I competed in uh, in a GT3 series, AVV, uh, Alto Velocidad, a Virtual uh, League, and uh, he won the race that I. I think I finished sixth in that race. It was a rainy one. At um, where were we at? I think we were at uh, Oslo Schleben or something like that. Rainy track, and he won the race. So this guy knows how to drive. He's got a lot of championships in a lot of different types of cars. One of our great Brazilian drivers. He races in the Stock Car Series. He's won some championships in our Stock Car Series as well on X the Xfinity Nights on Friday nights. Comes out and races uh, periodically with us on Saturday nights as well. And this guy just eats, sleeps, and drinks racing. Felipe Granado here trying to bounce back in the Aston Martin. He's caught up to Will Dunbar in the McLaren. Excuse me, in the Radical. And Granado pulls off that pass. Now moves up to the sixth position. Dunbar back to seventh. So Granado here trying to bounce back after having a little bit of trouble there. Maybe getting a handle on that Aston Martin. So 72 car back up to the sixth position. Take a look at Zakharov. So he's watching this action out of the front of his machine. Maybe he's waiting for a, a mistake for one of these guys. Caught up there in that turn, so uh, closed in in a hurry. Grasimov here bouncing back, but now he's got about a five second gap between he and P1, about four and a half or so uh, before he gets up to uh, P3. So he's got some work to do, just overdrive that turn and uh, spun the car, but fortunately for him, just kicked up a little dust. We got a little grass on the uh, on the tires, but it's like he's back at it. Bezhikov has got company, man. Matt Bentley all over the back of him right now. Take a look out of the back of his machine at that Bentley of Alexander Zakharov. I know these guys do a lot of racing together. Zakharov continuing to put the pressure on the Mercedes. Oh, there might have been a little bit of contact right there.
Might have been a little bit of contact, but you see that Bentley there getting it sideways. Coming down the hill. And this is a fantastic race right here. One, two, three. All under a blanket here. Pedro Gomez, man. Sorry, Pedro couldn't get in tonight here. He's down in the chat session. Joining us in the chat, keeping it lively. We got uh, some of our buddies down there in the chat session. Good to see them. Michael Brooks in here as well. Helio Vamberto. Looks like he's rooting for Felipe Granado. Hey, what, man? Uh, Vieira has done a great job, man, just hitting his marks. Not each and every uh, section of the track is he the fastest, but he has done a great job holding his line and keeping these guys at bay. Right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Little try, a little try at a pass, and uh, they're side by side. Bezhikov had that position but was not able to hang on, and uh, he might end up paying for this one. And he holds on there, but uh, I'll tell you what, Vieira does a great job of getting him back. What a heck of a pass that was. Bezhikov uh, hung it out there, man. And just as quick as he took, quickly as he took it, he got it taken back away. Take a look at this replay coming into the turn right here. And uh, Bezhikov in the um, Mercedes gets this position. Bad entry into the turn there for him. And so he goes wide and leaves that position open. And right there, Arthur Vieira. Gets him back. Let's go on board here with the watch this replay. Watch this, man. He's going to just throw it in here. Leaves that open uh, as he uh, slides high right there and uh, gives a position right back. Does a great job playing a little defense on Alexander Zakharov. Wow, that was a heck of a little sequence right there. Look at this, man. Bezhikov starting to close in on these guys. Excuse me. Uh, uh, Garasimov starting to close in on these guys here. Uh, Zakharov uh, up there in the third position has dropped back a little bit. So well, this Bentley may be saving his stuff a little bit. Maybe he needs to relax. I know uh, for me, I, I got to need a break. <laughs> Sometimes broadcasting this much action, I gotta take a break. So that battle's still raging there, but uh, Vieira has opened up a little bit of a gap. And those guys might be collecting their breaths here. Stephen Miller here in the 42 car having a good run. He's there in P5 in the McLaren, about 20 seconds back. So a little bit of a gap there. But nonetheless, uh, pretty solid run here so far for Steven Miller. Choosing to go over from the Audi to the McLaren this year, this season. And right now has that car in the fifth position. Felipe Granado here now has gotten around. After getting around, Will Dunbar has opened up a pretty good gap on him, about five second gap on the seventh position. He is now running in P6. Will Dunbar has some company now out of Spencer Romo. Spencer Romo in the Porsche. And uh, Will Dunbar in the Radical. Those guys tied there 7th and 8th. Just about a half a second separating the two of them. So take a look at that 88. Will Dunbar running in P7. Spencer Romo bouncing back from a little earlier incident here to catch up and uh, close in on the Radical. So Bezhikov now losing uh, a little contact here with Artivera. Artivera has opened up a, about a second gap on P2. So about 31 minutes left to go. 
Just over, uh, just under 32 minutes left to go in the race. And Arthur Vieira has led from start to finish so far. From the start, I should say, not to the finish yet. <laughs> A lively chat session there. So Vieta continuing to uh, lead there, 1.8 seconds. He's just kind of dancing around there with that uh, two-second mark. So a little bit of a gap has opened up uh, now with these guys. Look at this. Uh, pit stop here for Nikolai Bezhikov in the Mercedes. So he's doing a little bit of an early pit stop. Remember, they have to change four tires tires and they have to go to a different compound so some tire strategy playing out and I uh, had failed to uh, show the race keys here so the race keys tonight pick your spots pick when you're going to pass these cars uh, when you're going to choose to try to make a pass could work out badly for you if you don't race the track man this thing uh, is not that hugely technical but you do have some blind uh, corners and some elevation changes so race the track Tire strategy. That's where we're talking about here with what are you going to do? Go out on these softs and uh, change the mediums or vice versa. What are you going to do? How are you going to uh, alter that strategy and maybe try to uh, get a leg up on some of these other guys that are out here on the track? And then, as we just saw, guard your yard. Uh, Arthur Vieira did a great job of playing some defense there and got that position back as uh, he lost that spot just briefly uh, through the turn. So guard your yard. Pick your spots, tire strategy, race the track, or my keys to this race today. So Vieta continuing to lead, 2.4 second lead for him over Alexander Zakharov. Bezhikov making his pit stop and finishing up his pits. So Zakharov running in P2. Now you've got to start to wonder here now. So maybe Bezrikov using a little strategy here, trying to get in early, get some good tires on this thing, and then work that thing to the finish. Uh, some of these other guys might be going a little bit longer. Maybe Bezrikov might have been on those softer tires to uh, start off this race. Some of these other guys might be on mediums. So they're going to get a little bit longer run out of it. Try to stretch it out a little bit and maybe... Get something, uh, you know, soft tires are going to be really fast for a shorter stint. It just seemed to be that uh, Bezhikov coming in so early. We've got 30 minutes, just under 30 minutes left to go in the race. So a little bit earlier pit stop than what I would have imagined. I think most guys are probably going to try to make it halfway and then come in. But uh, Bezhikov now running in P8. Will Dunbar in the 88 car. He and Spencer Romo have had a little bit of a battle. Romo got around him. Take a look at this pass a little bit earlier. Spencer Romo, not too much fight right there. Does a great job getting on the inside of the Radical. And uh, the Radical there of Will Dunbar pulls over and kind of lets him have that spot. So Dunbar in the 88 car. Running in P7, Bezhikov, P8, who has made a pit stop. So the rest of these guys still need to make their one pit stop. Arthur Vieta about 1.7 second leads. So Zakharov has closed in on Arthur Vieta, so maybe uh, back there cooling those tires off, saving his stuff a little bit, and now starting to close in on P1. So our seven, number seven car, Alexander Zakharov, really starting to close the gap here on Arthur Vieta. 1.3 seconds.
I wish I could delete half of those camera angles. Wish Studio 397 would give us the ability to kind of, uh, you know, it's different for all the cars, right? You know, you don't go through the same sequence for all the cars, and it also resets, too. So if I go to this other car here, you see how that's a different camera angle, right? So have, I don't... I don't have any use for that camera angle right there. Sorry, that's my soapbox moment. That camera angle and the camera angle out of the front of the car. Which is where? There? Spencer Romo is on pit lane. As Art Vera continuing to lead, so Spencer Romo making his pit stop. I'm hearing that the 88 car might be coming down pit lane as well. So Spencer Romo on pit lane here at the 25-minute mark, making his pit stop. So you see the Porsche taking some service here. Now finishing up his pit stop, coming back out on track here. 25 minutes left to go. Art Vieira's lead now 1.1 second. Over the uh, fastly approaching car of Alexander Zakharov. Zakharov now trying to push that under a second. As you see Spencer Romo coming back out on track. Will Dunbar in on pit lane. Stephen Miller on pit lane as well. See Will Dunbar coming down pit lane. Now keep in mind, P1, P2, these guys still have to make pit stops. Grasimov has to make a pit stop. Granado has to make a pit stop. Bezhikov, the top car, fifth position right now, has already made his pit stop. Bezhikov is 13 seconds, or excuse me, 54 seconds down to the race leader. So we're watching our race leader there on that top left box or that left side box. Continuing to lead is uh, Arthur Fiera. And that lead is now down below a second between he and Zakharov. Zakharov on the move. Wrong box. Wrong uh, slide. Such an amateur man. Amount of practice. As this race is now tightened up here for P1. Oh, no, Art Vera coming around. Art Vera there, maybe on a little bit older tires. You know, those tires wearing out on him, and uh, he comes around and gives up the spot. Oh, no. So Zakharov pounces. Grasimov is on pit lane, by the way. We're talking about that. Wow, what happened there? Just looks like he lost the uh, grip on that and came around. So Vieta, right there, man, just breaks that car loose right here. And then, uh, oh, look at that, man. That is gangster right there. Look at that, seven car. Gets on the brakes and sideways and drifts past. Holy smokes. Watch this, man. Watch this work in this wheel. Let me get this car sideways right here. Oh, counter steering does a great job. My heavens, that was a move. As uh, Vieta had uh, spun that car. Watch this, man. Great job of getting this car sideways and then counter steering. You see him going back to the left. Turning those wheels back to the left to miss Arthur Vieta. Wow. What a heck of a move. Grasimov uh, spun his car later as well, man. Uh, look at Grasimov. He spun his car, the 17 car. He missed this turn, gets off of the grass, and uh, smacks the wall into the tire barrier there. He's going to give up a spot. Artivieta here now back to, uh, says he's back in the race lead. Actually, he's not. He's uh, now back to fourth as he makes a pit stop. As now our race leader is Felipe Granado. He's got some fans in here in the chat session. So Felipe Granado back uh, 
to the race lead. We'll take a look at Bezhukov if we go back live. My heavens, some action here. These guys out on older tires back up here with Felipe Granado, now a race leader. And a 10-second lead over Bezrikov. And I think Granado might still have to come down pit lane here in the Aston Martin. Bezrikov is second. Zakharov in third. Vieta now back to the fourth position. Pedro Gomez, uh, yes. Uh, Vieta is uh, one of our Brazilian drivers. Answering him. Asking me that in the chat session. So our leader is Felipe Granado in the 72 car. Here with just over 20 minutes left to go. Bezhikov back out on track after making an early pit stop. He's got about nine second gap between he and the race leader. See a P3 about 6.8 seconds back. That's Alexander Zakharov. So pit stops have, uh, oh man, he missed that turn right there. Came up over the curb. Missed that turn a little bit. Take a look at Zakharov here in the seven car. Running in the third position. So these guys have, you know, kind of separated themselves and really, I mean, not where I would have expected them. Vieta had that trouble, spun the car. He's come down pit lane, got some tires put on it here, and now he's got to play catch up. He's going to need a little help here. He's got 13 second gap between he and P3. Zakharov now just ran the fastest time of the race here, or the new best lap time is uh, Alexander Zakharov. In the Bentley. Let's take a look at the Garasimov running in P5 in the McLaren. Good little run here for him. Well, he was catching those leaders when they were uh, one, two, three, and then just had a little bit of trouble. Missed a turn, got him into, into the grass. Came around and spun right back onto the track, but that cost him some time and probably threw off that rhythm a little bit. Now he's back in the fifth position. He's playing catch up here. He's about four seconds behind uh, Art Vieta, who is in P4. So Granado continuing to lead, and a uh, five-second lead over Bezrikov. Zakharov nine seconds back in the third position. Vieta 22 seconds back in P4. Garasimov 27 seconds back in the fifth position. This would be a huge win for Felipe Granado, but I think he actually has to make a pit stop here. We will see. So he has not made a pit stop, so he is the only car out on the track who still needs to make a pit stop here. And I, I tell you what, I think uh, at this point we got to be saying that he's actually hurting himself because he's running old, older tires. The rest of these guys out on fresh tires. And he is just giving up time. Now to 4.6 seconds. So I'd say about a second a lap he's going to be losing for these guys that are on fresher tires. And you risk, you risk uh, spinning that car out as well. So Felipe Granado in the uh, Aston Martin. Got to be thinking he's going to be making a pit stop here fairly soon. And there we go. He's coming down pit lane. So Felipe Granado, our race leader, will give up the race lead to Bezrikov as he makes his pit stop.
So Nikolai Bezhikov in the Mercedes. Back to the lead. As we take a look at Felipe Granado and his, uh, making his pit stop in the Aston Martin. Just under 16 minutes left to go in the race. So I knew if there's anybody that could uh, drive the Mercedes, this is the guy right here. I mean, this guy can just flat out drive any one of these cars and make it competitive. And he wanted a challenge. And now we see a lot of that with the GT3 guys. As we go from one season to the next, they some of them will send me a message. He goes, hey, what do you think? Uh, or they'll post in our Discord channel, you know, what kind of car should I go with this time? You know, some of them are going to take that low-hanging fruit. Go with some of those faster cars. And uh, I just threw out the Mercedes, man, because, uh, you know, Really, I don't see a lot of guys r racing this car. And, you know, there's some chat uh, dialogue in the chat session about the car being broken. But uh, he jumped on it, man. He said, hey, let's do it. And look at this. He's got the car up front. Now, he's got a little bit of a, uh, a challenge here. 1.4 seconds back is Alexander Zakharov in the Bentley. So you see Felipe Granado has uh, finished up his pit stop. He's back out on track. So Bezhikov, Zakharov, Vieira. Vieira now 15.7 seconds back. He is closing in, but, man, he is running out of time. Garasimov in fourth. Miller is in fifth. So a couple of McLarens there running in P4, P5. Bezhikov has got a whole lot of Alexander Zakharov to deal with right now. And some lap traffic. On board here with uh, Nikolai Bezhikov. He's looking at his rearview mirror, and he's also eyeing that uh, lap car there of Will Dunbar. Will Dunbar, the lone radical in the field today. So now he's uh, messaging, uh, messaging on the radio there to uh, Bezhikov to go to the right. And he did, and uh, man, I tell you what, uh, oh, this has gotten a tight in a hurry here as uh, Zakharov is all over the back of uh, Nikolai Bezhikov right now. Probably wants to look at that pretty lady on the back of that car. Now Nikolai Bezhikov slipped through. And now looking to uh, challenge for the race lead, so P1, P2. And that Mercedes has got a whole lot of that Bentley to deal with. Zakharov looking very racy here in that seven car. 12, just under 13 minutes left to go. About 12.50, 12.55 to go. So the Mercedes AMG has a battle from this Bentley. Zakharov, you can just see, he's got some coffee. Oh, man, into the back of uh, the Mercedes a little bit. Maybe a little contact there from Zakharov. Zakharov's got some uh, weight ballast penalty as well. Doesn't seem to be affecting him. Oh, unless it brought him off the track right there. Maybe threw some of those weights off the car. He is driving the dog snot out of this uh, car right now. And everything he could do to get around Bezukov. He realizes that if he gets around him, he might be able to open up a pretty considerable gap here. Vieira is saying, hey, let me get up there and get some of that. He's in that uh, BMW trying to play a little catch-up. One mistake by Art Vieira, and that's cost him a little bit of time there. 15 seconds now behind P1, P2. Garasimov. In his uh, McLaren closing in on Art de Vieira. So they're about four second gap between the two of those guys. P3, P P4. I'm looking out of the back of uh, Bezhikov's machine at the Bentley. Alexander Zakharov. I mean, that car just looks fast, doesn't it? Oh, 
right there, man. Can pick the bugs out of the grill on that one. I have a feeling this is going to be side by side here in the next few minutes. 11 minutes left to go. Zakharov leading the, leaving the track there a little bit earlier. Watch this, man. Getting off track here, coming around this turn, and it gets a little bit wide. Coming off track there. Not exactly, uh, I think that was on the inside there, to be honest with you. And he is driving the heck out of that car. So far, Bezrikov holding off the challenge. Oh, here we go. Starting to peak. Feeling a little racy. He's starting to peak. He's looking for a spot. Feels like this might be a good opportunity. He has to uh, back off. Waiting for a mistake. He is all over the back of the Mercedes right now, and he just wants to get around. He's itching to get around this car. This is a great battle here for the race lead. Zakharov looking for the spot. Bezhikov not leaving an opening. Making it hard for him. Nine and a half minutes left to go. Bezhikov's got to say, man, let's go. Let's get this race over with. Bedrakov gets in, runs a GT3 series with us. He's run the IndyCar series with us. This guy drives a lot of different cars, man. Loves road racing. Zakharov, same deal, man. He's run a lot of laps with us, the GT3 series, and also in our IndyCar series. And there is not an inch between the two, oh, excuse me, not a centimeter between the two of these guys. We're rolling up on some lap traffic, looking ahead. You see Spencer Romo in the Porsche just ahead. Here's your cough a little bit better through that turn. Coming down the front stretch. Romo, I'm sure, is getting the blue flag at this point. He's just trying to figure out when to let these guys go. Oh, no, big mistake. Big mistake. Zakharov comes around. Zakharov around in the uh, Bentley. Oh, my heavens, man. And he's had some trouble. Oh, my gosh. Zakharov giving up a spot there as Art Vera gets a gift. What in the world happened? We'll take a look here. It's, uh, and the back end it just comes around right there. The back end comes around and uh, gets in the grass. And has to wait for some of these guys to come around here. And he goes around, uh, spins it around the other way. Uses the grass to uh, get that car pointed in the right direction. Oh, my heavens, man. Devastating right there. Look at this. He just gets the car sideways right there. Just loses grip on that, maybe that different section of the track. A little concrete or lighter asphalt section of the track, and uh, he's trying to figure out how to get this thing turned back around. He uses the grass and spins it back around. He's got to be kicking himself right now. Get out of the back of, uh, see that? Just comes around sideways right there. Comes around sideways and then spins. And Bezrikov looking in his rearview mirror. Vieira there coming around and sees this uh, gift that he's getting right there. And he picks up that spot now up to P2. And a Mercedes of uh, Alexander, or excuse me, a Nikolai Bezrikov has got to be breathing, breathing a sigh of relief. 
He's just got to hit his marks at this point. He's got a pretty sizable lead over Art Vieira, who's uh, 14 seconds back. So Art Vieira now in P2. A little bit of a gift for him, but he's got his work cut out for him, really. He's got a five-second gap there. I don't know how uh, boogered up uh, Zakharov's tires are. But Zakharov now got to find a rhythm. Maybe uh, salvage. Maybe try to get a second-place finish and salvage, uh, you know, where he was. That car and the tires might be just worn out. I mean, he was driving the heck out of that car. So now trying to find a rhythm. He's about five seconds back to Art Vieira, P2. Grasimov. Only three, about uh, three seconds back to P4 and Alexander Zakharov. And probably got to be wondering, hey, man, this guy's got, he spun around. He might have to booger up those tires a little bit. Thrown off his rhythm. Andrew Courtley coming in here in the uh, chat session. Good to see Andrew in here. Haven't seen him and talked to him in a long time. Hopefully, uh, we'll be doing a, we'll be making a big announcement for Sim Racing Mania and an event here very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for an announcement coming from Turn Left TV and Sim Racing Mania. Speaking of Andrew Courtley, Michael Brooks, Richard Brooks in here. Some of these guys as well run over there. Felipe Granado and uh, Garasimov battling it out. Now, Garasimov might have had a little trouble there as the Felipe Granado gets by. Now, Felipe, remember, he's waited a heck of a long time to make a pit stop. Now up to a P5 as uh, he's showing him in the sixth position. He's gotten around Garasimov. Got around Stephen Miller. I take that back. Not Garasimov, but uh, um, Stephen Miller. I got to figure out where the hell I'm at right now. <laughs> there we go. That pass down the front stretch. Stephen Miller on the right side as uh, Felipe Granado gets by in the Aston Martin. So right now, Bezhikov with a 14-second lead over Arte Vieira, and he looks to be clear sailing for him. He had his work cut out for him. Zakharov really put on a lot of pressure, and uh, one little mistake after pit stops here just a few laps ago, a few minutes ago, about three minutes ago, and... Uh, that's brought him back to the third position. Art Vieira now got a little bit of a gift there back in P2. Take a look at Spencer Romo here in the Porsche. It'd be a pretty quiet night aside from the early incident for him, and he is one lap down in the seventh spot. Will Dunbar in the Radical. As you see Art Vieira there rolling up on him. Art Will Dunbar right now in P8. Great looking little paint scheme there. Uh, Will's honing his skills on the paint scheme. He said, I'm going with a Ninja Turtles look this time. He's got the 11 there, throwback uh, uh, for Steve Freeze. And he's got the 41 for Lauren Stopworth. And of course, got the Turn Left TV logo. There you go. Passes inspection. Stephen Miller and his uh, Speed Details sponsored McLaren running in the sixth position. Two minutes left to go. It's Bezhikov, clear sailing for him. 14 second lead, 14.8 second lead over Artevira. So he's been able to hold serve on P2. Zakharov has not been able to chip into Artevira's gap there. Six second gap now. Separate the two of those guys. Garasimov in fourth. Felipe Granado now in the fifth position. Stephen Miller seventh. Those the guys are on the lead lap. So 
So uh, a little over a minute left to go in the race. I think we're probably going to see uh, maybe see another lap here out of the Mercedes. Man, he really had his work cut out for him all throughout the race, to be honest with you. He had to work so hard to get around Arte Vieira. Vieira made one mistake before that pit stop and uh, put himself a little bit behind the eight ball. Bezrikov was able to make a pass. Came back out after the race, or after the pit stops, and uh, had a little work to do. Regained the lead, but had a lot of work to do to hold off Zakharov. So one more lap here for Nikolai Bezhikov. And as like I said, it's all over from uh, but the shouting. And he's already waving outside his window with the pretty girls. Don't tell his wife that. The 23 car. Looking to uh, make a get a race victory here. So what a nice looking car there for him. He answered the call. He said, hey, man, I want to uh, put a, make a little challenge there. Tell me what I need to drive. A lot of guys were throwing up uh, the vomit emojis when I put up the Mercedes. But he said, answer the call, and uh, here he is. On to a race victory. Aside from any disasters here, the engine blowing up or something. Might even be able to push it home at that point, get out and, uh, sh you know, shove it home. <laughs> Here he goes, uh, Nikolai Bezhikov. Hey, there we go. Hopefully he's going to be okay and he can, you know, get that thing in the winner's circle. So congratulations to uh, Nikolai Bezhikov on getting the win. That was a heck of a way to do it. Let me watch this. Good little... Uh, Got a little cocky right there, didn't he? Got a little cocky, and he got that car sideways, get it up on the wall, and then a victory onto the roof, and then back onto the tires. So a uh, great job to uh, Nikolai Bezhikov. Vieta finishes in the second position. Zakharov finishes in third. We'll take a look at the uh, the final results. So Bezhikov gets the win. Artifera finishes in the second position. Alexander Zakharov battles back there. Holds on, I should say, for the third place finish. Nikolai Garasimov finishes in fourth in the uh, McLaren. Felipe Granado finishes fifth in the uh, Aston Martin. Good job there for Felipe. Really battled back there after an early incident in a late, late, late race pit stop. And uh, does a good job. Finishes in fifth. Stephen Miller for sixth. Steve Spencer Romo finishes in the seventh position in that uh, Porsche. And I just don't feel like, uh, you know, he was very confident about that setup in that Porsche. Uh, but nonetheless, finishes in seventh. Will Dunbar and the Radical finishes in the eighth position.
So congratulations to Nikolai Bezhikov on getting the win here at Mid-Ohio in that 23 car. The Mercedes in victory lane. And the girl on the side there looks pretty happy. So a great job to him. Let's see if we can't uh, maybe get an uh, interview with him. Not sure what his plans are. All right, we're joined up here in the broadcast booth uh, by Nikolai Bezhikov. Man, you really had to work for that race win. Congratulations. Thank you, Keith. You had a, you had a pretty tight battle there uh, early in the race with Artur Vieira and uh, Alexander Zakharov. You were kind of sandwiched in between those two guys. And, uh, you know, how do you manage, you know, trying to find a spot to be able to get around the, uh, the BMW of uh, Vieira and also protect the... Uh, uh, your position as well from uh, a hard charging Alexander Zakharov. Mm, I think I just uh, had enough speed uh, to be in front of Zakharov, but uh, not enough to put on Vieira. Just uh, my uh, rear wing uh, was uh, too big for overtaken, but <laughs> it was enough uh, to defend. So. Well, you, you came out at, um, after pit stops there and had a real good battle with uh, Alexander Zakharov. Uh, you know, we're kind of avoiding the little gift that you got there with Vieira spinning, and uh, you got that spot. But now coming after pit stops, you had a really hard battle with Alexander Zakharov. He was putting a lot of pressure on you. Uh, how did you feel? Did you feel like, uh, you know, he, he had the stronger car? You feel like he was maybe going to make a mistake uh, or just trying to hit your marks? Uh, okay, firstly, my uh, early pit stop was uh, a terrible idea, <laughs> just because <laughs> Mercedes is a tire eater, and uh, at finish uh, I had, I think, uh, less than 40% uh, of my tires, and it was terrible, uh, where a car was like a bot. <laughs> and um, even uh, I uh, was ahead of Alexander uh, for seven seconds i guess he uh, managed uh, to catch me uh, around quickly in maybe four or five laps and um, yes it was tough but uh, where there were two different aspects uh, which uh, ha helped me to win this race firstly uh, as i said before i had uh, Slightly less rear wing when Alexander and uh, on the straights I was faster. Uh, as you know, these cars uh, almost uh, don't have a slipstream at all. Uh, this is uh, after spa incidents uh, in competition system. <laughs> and uh, the second point uh, that uh, me and uh, Alexander are good mates, and maybe he wasn't too aggressive in a battle with me. Well, that helps a little bit when he has a considerable amount of respect for you, and uh, you, I'm sure you return that same respect. But, you know, I, uh, I talked throughout the broadcast of how you threw it out there in our Discord channel, uh, you know, that you were looking to race a different m uh, make of car, and I threw out the Mercedes, and a lot of people were very much questioning that, you know, like, God, don't do that, don't do it. But you have answered the call. Um, you know, are you regretting the decision, even though you've gotten the race win here? Uh, do you feel like it's a really that much more of a challenge to drive this car? Uh, okay, finally, it's uh, kind of fun. Maybe uh, the car isn't perfect, and uh, it's uh, really hard to control it. And uh, sometimes I have no idea what this Mercedes is doing. But yeah. um, this uh, car is not terrible. I. Uh, I'm okay with it. For example, um, where is uh, DPI Caddy, uh, which was released by Studio um, maybe last winter, I guess. And uh, yes, this cast is terrible. 
uh, I, I uh, hate it. But uh, <laughs> don't hold back. <laughs> yes, but Mercedes is it's tough, it's hard to race, but it's so so. Well, I said if anybody could get in the car and, and make it competitive, it would have been you. And uh, you've definitely proved that today. So you definitely have your work cut out for you the rest of the season. Uh, you have uh, uh, Road America coming up, another great American road course coming up next week. Uh, have you raced that track? If so, how do you feel about Road America? Firstly, it's a shame that we missed Macau, but <laughs> <laughs> this car just can't make it happen. Yes, I raced in Road America by uh, stock cars, so NASCAR cars. Okay. Well, that one might, uh, maybe that car handles like a stock car. Mm, I think uh, it has even uh, less downforce. <laughs> yeah. Stock. Well, Adelaide, uh, street circuit coming up on the 9th, and then you got Portland, another uh, another one of those American tracks. Get a little bit of a shorter uh, road course. Anything stand out to you with the next three races here? I, I don't know really. Well, hey, congratulations. A great win for you, and uh, good luck next week. Always appreciate you coming out and supporting High Octane Racing League, and uh, uh, be prepared for a little bit of extra weight in the back end of that Mercedes next week. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, Goodbye. buddy. All right, see you. All right, uh, that's uh, Nikolai Bezhikov uh, getting the race win. We broke the news to him. He's going to have a little weight uh, added to that car next week, and that's going to make it even more challenging at Road America. That's a pretty challenging uh, track nonetheless, but uh, uh, a good one, fun one in the uh, GT3 cars. So uh, we'll take a look at that schedule again. Road America coming up next week. Adelaide on October the 9th. Portland October the 23rd. So an interesting mix of tracks here. We got a great uh, – uh, Road America is up in Wisconsin, Elkhart Lake, uh, Wisconsin, Adelaide, of course, in Australia, and then Portland out there in the Oregon, uh, out on the west coast of the uh, United States. And then we uh, head to Dubai on October the 30th, Silverstone. Great track there, located in uh, Great Britain on November the 6th. And Singapore Marina Bay on the 13th of November, another one of those road courses. Uh, or they're all road courses, one of those city circuits. Don't forget, next week we have uh, Talladega Super Speedway coming up in the High Octane Racing League uh, Bushwhacker Series, race number six, the Super Speedway on the schedule. And that's coming up on the 1st of October. So we're heading into October. My heavens, man. And uh, that should be a great, great race. Uh, Talladega is going to really attract a lot of drivers. See, uh, Be prepared for a huge field uh, on um October 1st. That's coming up. It'll be live here on Turn Left TV at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on that Friday. Saturday Night Thunder headed your way here in just a little while. Race number three, 120 laps from Vegas, Sin City on the schedule in the Saturday Night Thunder. So we don't want to miss that one if you're interested in coming out racing with us. 120 laps there at Vegas should be a fun one. Racing starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when the quals start. Tonight's race has been brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com, solid server connections, and web press managing. Hosting, if you're interested in a, uh, a website for your league and also uh, a server or a server, there are three self-managed server packages to choose from all around the world. No matter where you are in the world, they can find you a uh, server package in your region. So uh, please give EliteHostingUSA.com a look. Don't forget to tag on over to or travel on over to highoctaneracing.net to get updates on uh, points and new events and uh, also what guys are running throughout the uh, the uh, week at various tracks on that R-Factor 2 times. Guys really do like to look at that. Guys that are competing in the series uh, like to look at that little graphic there, that little tool. So a great, great uh, battle here tonight, especially with that early on, that three-way battle between uh, uh, Bezhikov, uh, Zakharov, and Vieta. What a fantastic, fantastic battle there. But uh, Nikolai Bezhikov came, comes back out on top in the Mercedes, puts it in victory lane.
I want to say thanks so much for coming out and uh, joining me here on Turn Left TV. Man, that was a good one. That was a good one. I had a lot of fun, a lot of uh, guys coming in the chat session, too. Always appreciate that. We got Andrew Cornley came in here, man. What the heck? I'm, what is that, my birthday or what? Andrew Cortley coming in here. Michael Brooks in here as well. Uh, and then Richard Brooks coming in. Uh, Richard Brooks has been teasing me a lot lately. I don't know, man. you got to lay off here a little bit. I'm an old man. You can't be teasing me. Uh, Givaldo uh, coming in here, our great friend, great, great Brazilian friend there coming in and joining us as well. And uh, greatly appreciate that. We had a lot of chatters coming in here, uh, so I like looking at that. Pedro Gomez couldn't get in here tonight because he had some uh, conflict, mod conflict for some reason. Uh, so I'm not sure what uh, what was going on with that, but uh, hopefully we get things worked out for next week uh, at Road America. Now I would say to all those folks that are, uh, you know, in our Discord server and looking to, uh, you know, you know, race on the weekend, make sure you join through the week and just kind of get things dialed in as far as your uh, your settings are concerned. So, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, when the, the race gets close to starting there, trying to figure out what's going on if you have a conflict. Uh, but, hey, thanks for coming in. Please hit that thumbs up button. And then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Just smash it. And then smash that bell that's way over there. See, I'm off the screen. Right over there. Way over there. Smash that bell and you get updates uh, when races are going live. You can also go down in the description of this race and click on those links over to the Fanatec website and help me out here at Turn Left TV. And if you're ever interested in purchasing something through them, I implore you uh, to use my links. Peace to everybody out there. hope everybody's having a good day. And, uh, man, a little chilly here in the uh, central part of the United States for me today anyway. But uh, maybe be a little bit warmer tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, that's going to do it for us tonight. Congratulations to uh, Nikolai Bezhikov on getting that race win. And we'll see you next time and next week at Road America. Until then, you know what that means. I am out of here.